Moto Vagabond Nate, the next challenge. Thousand Euro Moto in the Canary Islands. So where did that mystery flight take us? It took us to the Canary Islands off the western coast of Africa. We landed in Fort Ventura that night. Woke up to a beautiful sunrise in our new apartment overlooking the ocean. Headed down towards the beach. It's gonna take us a little swim in some crystal clear water today and enjoy the soul. Things I learned Pablo in Espanol. Let's have some fun with it. Find some transportation. Motorbike. Somewhere. Thousand euros. See if we can make it happen. But before we start the challenge, we've got to spend some time together enjoying the crystal clear water rolling over our toes. Coast to Kama. Here we go. Just left the Rapa Nui Cafe using their Wi Fi. We're just doing a little Google Translate with a guy from Marketplace. It has a little Benelli 125 talked to him, got him down to a thousand euros, just like we're looking for. So now, the hard part is transferring ourselves from the island of Rat, which is going to be Fortaventura, all the way down in Costa Cama, La Norte, New Island, the island north of us. So we're going to have to take a ferry ride across the island, pick up the bike, ferry it back. We'll figure it out. That's part of the adventure and the fun, but we're going to make it happen. Step one, renting a car so we can get to the top of Fort Ventura where the port is. Step two, acquiring tickets for the ferry so we can get up to Lanzarote. So we take off from Costa Calma all the way to the north to Corelho where the port is located, dodging the locals and their crazy dogs on our two-stroke supermotos. That's the ship, the ferry taking us over to get the motorbike from our buddy up in Lanzarote, which you can almost see. Well, not when you're down here in the port, but it's not far away, it's a 25 minute commute. So I'm gonna jump the old rental car into the back of the ferry and pick up our motorbike. comfortable seats in the house, sat back and enjoyed the scenery as we took off on the port. We're halfway between the ports of Corelho and Playa Blanca, Fort Ventura and Lanzarote. Gates opened up and spit us out into Playa Blanca. Lanzarote, here we come. Off to the next adventure. And the next adventure takes us up the road from Playa Blanca to the city of Aracel, where our motorcycle awaits. The route takes us a little bit away from the coastline on the way to Aracel, but we still enjoy the scenery. First stop is the DMV, or their Direction General de Trafico. That's where the motorcycle's waiting for us. Transaction complete for the Gustavo. We got this little Benelli 125 picked up. Let's check it out. somewhere in Lanzarote to get some Wi-Fi and find our way back home. But my new hot rod was tempting me to take her on a ride around the volcanic runoff of Lanzarote. So we did, and then we took a side trip. Back to Aerosuf to explore the Castillo San Gabriel and watch the sunset. Lucked out with the best seat in the house. Go shine in resistance down from 10. Having tons of fun, but it was time to walk back across the bridge. 
the drawbridge that led us back to the city where we could take off from Arisup and head to our new destination, a hotel for the night, waking up to a beautiful sunrise in the middle of Lanzarote. The morning sunshine revealed a remarkable courtyard that we missed during our nighttime arrival. Breakfast was fantastic and served by a very entertaining host. With more exploration time left on the agenda, we headed north to the beach of Playa de Famara, a very popular surfer's beach surrounded by mountains created by volcanoes. Stunning waves and spectacular views left us craving more, but it was time to leave and head back to Playa Blanca to catch our ferry back to Fuerteventura. The start of my 162 kilometer trip back to Costa Calma. It's the Armas Ferry coming back and me and the Benelli are heading back over to Fuerteventura, leaving Lanzarote for another day to explore more. We got to see some beautiful beaches and hang out, but me and the old Benelli, we got to come up with a name and another ferry ride to another basic place on these islands of the Grand Canaries. The ferry opened up its giant plank and gobbled up the Benelli and the Mini Cooper. Back to the comfortable lounge at the back of the ferry, watching Lanzarote disappear into the distance while new prospects beckon us to explore them on future trips. With the Benelli safely ashore of the island of Futaventura, it was time to head south from Corelejo to Antigua, a city in the center of the island, for a quick stop at Nico Motorsport. So now that we have the motorcycle, we got to find a place to outfit ourselves and all of our equipment. So I found Nico Motorsports out in Antigua, down here in Futaventura. We'll take a quick run through the store and see what all they got. When we come in, they even have new units. Some kids' bikes, a lot of off-road gears. We're in a very off-road oriented area. They have all the parts and stock that we needed. We got helmets and we have covers and we've got gloves. We've got extra visors where I broke my visor in transport. This guy right here hooked me up. So we're gonna go see what they have upstairs with a lot of other street accessories. It was a nice surprise to find this place in the middle of the desert out in Antigua, out here in Forza Ventura. So let's get back to riding. So I jumped back on the Benelli 125 and headed south for the last 44 kilometers to complete the challenge of a thousand euro moto in the Canary Islands. Stay tuned for a how-to video as we start to maintenance our Benelli, getting it ready for more adventures.